What's going on guys and welcome to a new video and in today's video I'm going to be telling you what my shopping list is for Lego in 2021. So obviously this isn't going to include all the Lego Star Wars sets coming out this year because most of the summer sets I'll be getting. I think I've done a video about this already talking about my sets I'm going to be getting and things like that so be sure to watch that after this video but this is going to be like basically all the Lego Star Wars sets that are already out that I haven't managed to get my hands on yet. And basically the broader range of Lego, because I know there's lots of you who watch these videos who aren't just into Lego stores. They like Harry Potter, Ninjago, Modulars, Ideas, and all the different categories like Lego have. And I'm also one of those people who I want to try and like, not go crazy and start buying like every single Lego set at Lego ever make. But I do have, there are several sets that I have got an eye on and I do want to add to my Lego collection. So before we get into this video guys, I'm going to say hit the like button down below, it really supports the channel. And if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Tell me down in the comments what sets and themes that you like as well as Lego Star Wars and what sets you really want to buy. And remember, merch is down in the description below. Get it while you can. It is leaving us June the 24th. There might be a new line straight after it, there might not, I haven't quite decided yet. So be sure to get it while you can to support the channel. So we'll start off with the usual, these Lego Star Wars sets that are out right now that I want to get my hands on this year. So the first one is the UCS R2 Tito and this set looks like a really good set. I had never managed to get my hands on the original just because I wasn't really collecting Lego at the time. I had like a dark era. It's quite an expensive set. So I'm not gonna be picking up just yet. I'm gonna wait for like a deal or something, but it's a set I really, really want to add to the collection. And I can't wait to have standing next to Grogu or something. The next Lego Star Wars set is the Moss Eisley's Cantina. This set, oh, this set looks so good. When I, when it first was leaked, I like made a couple of videos about it. I was super excited to get it. I was gonna get it day of release, but then I found out the anniversary Boba Fett Slave 1 was retiring and the Razor Crest had just come out just a couple of weeks before it. So I was in a bit of a predicament. Do I get the Razor Crest and the Boba Fett Anniversary Edition? Or do I just get the Cantina? And at the time, I'll make the decision, I'll get the Razor Crest because I wanted that set so bad. And the Boba Fett Slave one because I didn't want to retire and not manage to get my hands on one, which was actually a really good decision because obviously all the hype around the set, the Boba Fett Slave one, because it was in The Mandalorian quite a bit, it made it go out of stock everywhere. The hype for it was crazy. So I'm really glad I did that. But that means I still need to get the Moss Eisley's Canteen. And hopefully I'll be getting that maybe before the end of the year, but definitely before it retires. And those are the two main like Star Wars sets that I want. Now we're going to move on to modulars. So if you didn't know, the second theme that is like my favourite are modulars. Just because of the pure detail in them. They are awesome sets if you haven't ever had a modular and you've been um and ah about it pick your favorite one and just buy it see what you think about it because they are so good assembly square was my first one i got and the detail in it is just incredible the play features if you like to play with your lego sets are just incredible just everything about them are they're finished off to a t I wish Lego finished off Lego Star Wars sets to a T, but modulars are definitely awesome sets. So obviously the new one this year, the police station is a definite want. It's, it looks like a really good set. It's got some cool like details on the inside, like a little, it's got some cool detail on the inside. I just think it would be a great one for display. And then also the corner garage is one that I really want because I haven't actually got a corner module yet. So I really want to get the corner garage because I don't think I'm really that bothered about any of the retired ones. Obviously, I really like the look of Parisian restaurant. And well, I think that's the main one actually that I want. But there's some that, that have been out that I've missed out on that I'm not particularly that bothered about, but I do want to get the corner garage before it retires. Now we're moving on to Lego Ideas. So Lego Ideas are obviously sets that people have put forward and been voted for and been the winners. So the Medieval Blacksmith, this looks like a really, really detailed little set. I really, really want to add it to my collection, but it's quite a pricey little set. So I'm going to wait a bit for that. See if you can get it on deal anywhere. I don't think you can really because it's like an exclusive to the Lego store. So I just might have to save up the pennies and bite the bullet if I really, really want it before it retires. That's the first Lego idea set that I really want. And then the next one is the tree house. And this is going to be a hard one to get because it's retiring. But it's like went off the Lego website for weeks and then it's come back on. And I reckon the next time it goes, it's gone forever. So hopefully I managed to find a way to get it. I don't know if I will be, but that set looks incredible. I think all the Lego collectors 
if they collect it Lego seriously and have modulars and styles and things like that, I think a lot of them would agree that the Lego Treehouse is an incredible idea set. So one that's a bit out of the blue is the Crocodile Locomotive. I just think this is a really cool set. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of the adult theme around it or whatever, but that set on the little plaque that it comes on looks like such a cool set to have on your desk, to have. To be fair, that set could pretty much go anywhere, but that is the set I definitely really want to get, and it's not too expensive. And then we're going to go into something a bit different, Lego Harry Potter. So, I have had the odd Harry Potter set, right, there's one of the books there, and then I've got a Quidditch match as well, which is a good one, it's retired now. And there are a couple of sets on the list that I want, these are the main ones, and one of is Attack on the Burrow, because every time I see that set, I think that is such a cool set. Like, even if I didn't, like, open it and build it straight away, if I ever wanted, like, a little Harry Potter shelf in my collection room or whatever, that would definitely be a set that I want on it. Obviously, there's Diagon Alley that looks amazing, but this is, like, a realistic Lego Star Wars shopping list, not a uh, spend all your money in one go Lego Star Wars list. But Attack on the Borrow, the Hogsmeade Village Visit is the next one. It's just come out or it's coming out or something. I saw this set and I thought this looks like a really cool set. I love the detail on the buildings and things like that. That's another one that I would quite like. It's not too expensive. And that is pretty much it. Obviously, these sets are all sets we know about are and are available on the LEGO website right now. There are some other sets that I think I might get if I see the right deal, like... I am considering getting a Sith art, but they didn't really float my boat and I'm hoping LEGO are going to bring out something else art-wise for Star Wars. But apart from that, all the LEGO Star Wars summer sets are a, a must. Like, I can't wait to get my hands on them. Like I said at the start of the video, tell me down below what LEGO sets have you always, like, looked at and thought, I want that set, but I don't really collect that theme. Tell me down below, because I'm really interested, because I quite often go into, like, a LEGO shop or, or on the LEGO website and I say, I go straight to the LEGO Star Wars section. I see that I, like, have quite a few of the sets that I want. Obviously, apart from the Cantina and the R2-D2 and things like that. And then you just, like, start, oh, I'll go on the modular section, I'll go on the Creator Expert section, and I see more sets that you like. I think it's so cool. Remember, guys, merch in the description below. Get it while you can. Instagram. Follow me on Instagram for behind the scenes and things like that. Subscribe to the channel for lots of vlogs of me going out and buying these sets, building them, not necessarily reviewing them, but, like, showing them off, showing them, adding them to my LEGO collection. And, yeah, so don't forget to like the video, guys. I'll see you in the... Next one.